Hey, what's going on, everyone? James and Numbers, we're back. And welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, we're going to, be going to be going over the North Carolina petitions and voter registration statistics as of the week of February 10th, 2024. Now, as you guys can see here, let's get started with the petitions. The Constitution Party has gained more signatures. They're only a little more than a thousand away from possibly getting ballot access. So, with that being said, here are, the, here are their signatures from each county thus far. And if you guys want to pause the video, as always, feel free to pause if you need to in order to report to record any numbers that you need. And yeah. Alright, with that being done, let's keep scrolling down. Laura Baker has also gained some more signatures this week. Here are her signatures for NC District Court Judge 42 thus far. The four party also gained like one more signature, so I don't know how big it is, but we're going to scroll down anyways, because considering that this is a game for this week. So yeah, obviously you're going to see a bunch of zeros. And um, what else happened? Oh yeah, and there's some guy named Scott Rappaport who's running for president as well as an unaffiliated. And um, yeah, he started his petition very late. He's actually only got less than a month. In fact, all unaffiliated candidates running for president only have less than a month until the petitions expire. I'm assuming that March 5th is because it's the primary around the around the time of the primaries. I'm not I'm fully not sure, even though I should be aware of those. But you know, yep, he's he is running for president. It's literally the same for all unaffiliated counters. And yes, we have all 100 counties. So really, yeah, this is literally that's literally most of the petitions for unaffiliated for president. So yeah, and then lastly for U.S. House District 9, Shalane Etchinson made some gains as well. Here are her signatures thus far. And hers also expires on March 5th as well. Very not so great for the unaffiliated voters, but hey, there have been some gains made nonetheless. Anyways, guys, here are the voter registration statistics from last week. And then here are the statistics for this week. Now, I'm going to need to scroll up my calculator a bit, and um, let's get started. Alright, the Green Party gained 41 new registered voters, and for the fourth week in a row, holy cow, the Libertarian Party lost voters again. They lost 29 registered voters this week. Damn. Damn, that is not good. Hopefully they can bounce back soon, because this, this degrowth from the Libertarian Party is not normal. Anyways, no labels gained 347 new registered voters. The Democratic Party is back into form, losing 2,156 voters. The Republican Party gained 1,559 voters. And lastly, unaffiliated voters, once again, the largest growing demographic in the country. No, not in the country, in the state, with 4,264 new registered voters. So with that being said, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.